going on everybody it's a weekly update with the extremely high temperatures that we had for the past couple of days and a severe storm on top of that the previous night I was a little worried for my plants but it looked like it pulled through and as you can see with the carrots you can barely see the tub I pulled one of the carrots out to thin them out just a little bit and it looked like the carrots are getting a little bit bigger so if the temperatures don't get too high to where the carrots start bolting I might have a carrot harvest I think I have a case of misplaced labeling and the reason why I say that is that this Roma tomato plant have suckers growing on them you can see one of them between this branch and the stem there's another one right here but the flowers are coming on them so I'm hoping that I don't have a repeat of last year when it comes to the tomatoes the spinach I'm gonna go ahead and pull them up because as you can see with one of them it's starting to bolt so look out for a spinach harvest a last spinach harvest dill is doing really great still hanging in there I thought they were going to end up dying on me for the past couple of days because of the temperatures but because of the rain it looked like it bounced back to life my beets are doing really good I never showed you any of the beets but uh, as you can see with one of them and then there's another I can try to get close enough they're doing really great so look out for a beet harvest sometime this week I decided not to plant any tomatoes in the containers and I planted peppers so I got two pepper plants in these containers the variety is Bonnie's best bell I end up going to a big box store and end up buying them so hopefully they'll actually grow with the limited time throughout the summer Swiss chard still hanging in there family member probably come over and pick them I might not do another harvest video on my Swiss chard again I might change my mind so if I do be on the lookout for a harvest video my collard green I'm pretty much going to give up on it I put some BT worm and caterpillar kill on it and it didn't look like it was effective enough I ended up finding at least three to four worms that I had to pick by hand off of the, of the collard plant so I'm going to pretty much pull this up and replace it with a pepper and the tomatoes plants finally got tomatoes on them I don't know if you can see them but there's tomatoes on the plants and there's another one coming so so far things are going okay in the garden for now I'm gonna try to keep the maintenance and the feeding and the watering up on them so let's go out to that garden plot I wasn't able to work out in my garden plot and the reason being is the last time I did I was looking at my tomatoes and my neighbor's dog decided to come in my yard one night 
and leave evidence beside one of my tomato plants. So when I was gathering the evidence, I lost my footing and when I stabled myself, I threw my back out again. So that's the reason why the grass is starting to take over the plot. The peppers, I want to say I'm giving up on the peppers because there's not much I can do with the peppers when they're in ground. But I'm going to let them stay in there for the time being. As for the tomatoes, they're still doing okay. I don't think there's any tomatoes on them yet. But if there is a tomato up there, when my back gets better, I'll take a look at it. And I'll show you all if there's any tomatoes up there. Family member came over and got some of the kale. You can see it's pretty much almost barren. And also the worms is starting to take over again. So I got to hit it with more insect repellent because the storm that hit last night has washed it off. And also with this box, I'm just going to leave it empty, replenish it with some fresh soil and have it ready for mustard greens in the fall. So pretty much the rest of the summer is going to be empty. So, if you like what you see, leave a like. Have questions, comments, leave it in the comment section. That's it for now. Happy gardening.